New construction or pre-construction marketing. This is one of the best ways to get a steady stream of deals that takes the least amount of effort if you're able to maximize what I'm about to share with you today. There's seven things that you can do and if you follow all seven of these steps to properly market new developments, new home, new construction, pre-sales for condos, whatever the situation is, if you're partnering with a developer and you follow these seven steps, you are going to have a steady stream of easy buyers coming directly to you and the best part is is in most cases with builders you can pass off a lot of those buyers to the sales team and they're going to take care of them for you so that you're able to focus on getting more volume without having to do a lot of the legwork and this is how a lot of the agents in my group even some second year agents are using these strategies in order to do over a hundred million dollars in sales in their second year so you don't want to miss this one so let's dive straight in what's up guys it's mike sherrard with exp realty i train thousands of agents every year to skyrocket their production the modern way by leveraging modern social media strategies and i'm doing something new for the rest of this year as you likely know anybody that is subscribed to my youtube channel likes and comments on any of my videos that week i'm entering them into a draw to win my full social agent academy where i've got specific sections in the social agent academy specifically about marketing new development so without further ado let's break down these seven things you need to be doing in order to get a ton of buyers coming directly to you so quickly before diving into these seven things the one thing i want to explain to you is that the reason why new development or pre-construction converts so high is because it's leading with value because when you're just marketing resale homes unfortunately everybody has access to them based on Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, Realtor.com, Realtor.ca, Realtor's websites, all of it. But with new development and pre-construction, oftentimes we have inside information that the public doesn't have. We know when new developments are coming up. We know we can be the first to market it. It's not going to be on the MLS. So it's a value-driven approach to lead generation. And that's why it works so well. So let's dive into these seven things. The first thing you want to make sure you're doing is both long and short form videos. Now, this could be videos in a different series explaining, and we'll get to one of them, which is property tours, but explaining about the development, talking about the amenities, showing some of the models and the mock-ups and the renderings and things like that, but content that is related to the actual development in both long form, which is like a full length YouTube video like this, or short form, which is gonna be something like Instagram Reels, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts. And this is going to allow you to start to get exposure on the development, talking about when it's gonna be coming, talking about maybe maybe styles or design language or amenities, features, price points, things like that. Whatever information you know, the more you can share, the earlier, the better. So you wanna make sure you're at least leveraging both long and short form content to at least start to spark interest in people so that we can lead into the rest of these seven things. Number two, something that works really well on both LinkedIn Facebook and Facebook ads, which we'll get to later, is carousel photos. I did really well with this by posting this on my Facebook business page, on Instagram, as well as on LinkedIn, where you can use carousels, which is just a stream of photos in a row or a sequence of photos. And posting different photos, even just the renderings, because maybe it's a pre-sale condo and it's not yet developed, the renderings of the exterior, of some of the different floor plans, maybe of the lobby, if it's a standard property, some of the different rooms, the kitchen, things like that. But a lot of times what will happen is you can talk to these builders or developers and they will have obviously renderings to show people about what they're actually going to buy. So if you can talk to them and just say, hey, I wanna promote this, I wanna bring you buyers. I'm not asking to list these properties, but I just wanna bring you buyers. If you start to go with that approach, that value-driven selfless approach, then oftentimes you can get a ton of really high quality professional renderings that you can start to post across different social platforms in order to spark even more curiosity now that you've talked about the development on the short and long form content, now you're showing the development on the carousel photos. Number three, behind the scenes stories. This is something that I really like to do where every so often, whenever I knew that there was progress or momentum happening with a certain development, I would go back to that development and I would just take this beautiful little device that we all live on here, our phones, and I would just do behind the scenes of updates in terms of, hey, they broke ground, or hey, they're putting up framing, or hey, they just you know started doing the drywall, or whatever the situation is. But this is a really great way to take people along for the journey. And when you can paint a story about it in terms of framing the development, showing the renderings, taking the behind the scenes of the in-person momentum and progress that's being made, people start to feel some sort of level of connection 
with the development. And it also gives you multiple pieces of content to create for every single development. So it's a really easy way to create a ton of content and to keep people intrigued and interested where maybe they weren't interested when you just talked about the development. They started to become a little bit interested when they saw the renderings, but now that they're starting to see it actually come to life, they start to take interest. So it's a really great way to just continue to nurture them and drive them deeper into the funnel from maybe a cold lead at the top of funnel in the beginning, not that interested, but curious to now, okay, maybe this is piquing my interest. Now comes number four, which is really important, which is the full property tours. Once the development, the home or whatever is done, make sure you do a full length and a short form property tour. These are the things that on Instagram reels, TikTok and YouTube shorts blow up, which is literally just walking around with this device and doing a bunch of panning shots or get your friend or your videographer, somebody to follow you walking through the property, just talking about the different features or even just pointing at them on short form with a popular trending overlaid song. That is a must in these days on short form. Now on long form like YouTube and also natively uploading it to your Facebook business page and sharing it to your personal page, what you want to be doing is again, a more detailed deep dive. You have to be in the video. The part about video is it's all about building your personal brand. And if you're not in the video, ain't no brand getting built. So you wanna make sure that you're in the video, talking about the different features, showing the amenities, giving a glimpse of the lifestyle, what it's actually like to be in this area with this new development or new home. But the full length tours is incredibly powerful because you can optimize it for that new development. Once they release it to the public, there's gonna be a lot of search inquiries for this. So if you name the title, build their name, dash, model name of like a home development or the condo name or whatever dash full in-depth tour or something like that first look anything that piques curiosity well now when people type in the developer or the builder and the model name or the you know design name or the condo name your video can show up on not just youtube but also Google. So this is an incredible way, like some of the agents in my group are leveraging, where they're doing these model home tours and condo tours and absolutely crushing it because no matter where you type it in, in terms of the model name or the builder name, their videos are the ones showing up. And because they're leading with value and showing a big tour of what it's like to be there and demonstrating they're actually knowledgeable about this, then they reach out to these agents and then they convert them into buyers. Number five is really important, which is talking about community information. So whether it be a condo development, whether it be a new home development or whatever's being made, it's really important to give some context, usually doing a blend of either a blog article, doing something like a full length YouTube video, or even just doing a short form post, on a platform like Instagram and Facebook, but making sure that you're giving context as to the beauty of the community, not just the property, not just the development, but the actual community. Because a lot of times people make a decision to move to a certain place based on the lifestyle, not just the development. You can have the most incredible development in the world if it's in a terrible neighborhood with high crime rates and no amenities and no schools, nobody's moving there. Right, So you wanna give people an idea as to what it's like to live in the area, not just the development. And this is really important because what you'll see is a lot of people looking at new homes or new developments are out of state, out of province, even out of country buyers. So if they've never been there, they wanna make sure they have an idea of what it's like to be there. Where's the shopping? Where's the grocery store? What is the school like? Where's the public transportation? How is it? Are there local parks? Is there places for dogs? Like give people an insight as to what it's gonna be like, not just to buy there, but to actually live there. Number six, we briefly touched on this, but continuing to give status updates. And this is important to, again, go back, and that's kind of what I alluded to earlier in terms of the behind the scenes activity, is just keep people in the loop with whenever certain milestones happen, whenever you see progress, go give people these updates. A couple of the agents in my group, what they do is they actually do a Facebook Live and then they use something like StreamYard or whatever and they stream it to YouTube and other platforms. But what they do is they just go to the development once every week. Some of them do it on a Monday, some of them do it on a Wednesday. And every single week they just do a live video update of the development. What's going on this week? How does it look? Where's the progress? What's going on? And this again, super easy way to create content that keeps people engaged, shows people the progress because people absolutely love 
to see progress. They feel a sense of achievement, they feel a sense of accomplishment, or they feel like they're a part of the journey. So if you can take people along for that journey and continuously update them, you're gonna pique more interest than anybody else. And finally, number seven, the one thing that I did that absolutely crushed it was leveraging Facebook ads. So once you get approval to start promoting the development, using those carousel photos as a Facebook ad, as well as some of the property tours that you might have done, is an incredible way to get exposure. Because what I would do is run a Facebook ad to the surrounding area, being like, hey, these brand new apartments or townhomes are coming in you know, six months. This is the early bird pricing. You get first pick of the units, you get first pick of the direction, the layouts, the floor plans, everything. And it's the best pricing you're gonna get and it's the first look at it. So get this before it gets launched to the public and that's gonna give you an early inside opportunity to get the best pricing, get the unit that you want and get it all before the public starts to find out about it. If you could be the first to market to do something like that with a Facebook ad, you will absolutely crush. So if you have any other questions about pre-construction, new development, new home marketing, uh, drop a comment below and I will respond to them. No questions asked. So thank you so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.